Hello. This is a Michael Morris custom made friction folder. What's a friction folder? Well, a friction folder is the oldest style of knife, very basic. Uh, it's just got a blade and a handle, and the blade has a protruding tang, which just with friction, you open it up and keeps closed by using your thumb on the protruding tang. So you can see, I mean, there is movement, but you've got pretty, uh, pretty good control over it because of your thumb over the tang. So that's, that's a friction folder. It's nice and simple, but absolutely beautiful in the hands of Michael Morris. And Michael Morris is based in the United States and he makes uh, a, a wide variety of different styles of friction folder. He also does fixed blades and uh, various other knife things. Go and have a look at his website, he's cool, he's got loads of cool stuff. So this one, I asked him to make me this uh, with rectangular natural micarta scales with these uh, hollow tubes at either end. This pin here, which is the little um, backstop for the tang there. So that, uh, you can see under there it stops there. That's how the, the blade stays, knows where to stop. And the blade itself is a, a modified straight razor. Um, I, mean, I suppose you could call it a sheep's foot or maybe worn cliff, I'm not sure. Super, super nice. So what Michael Morris uh, originally started out doing and st still does to this day is he uses old files to make um, the the blades on his knife. Now, I am a bit clumsy with my knives and um, I find that uh, they get, I can rust the, I can rust a stainless steel knife uh, just by looking at it. I'm, I'm a bit strange like that. So I asked him to make my blade super smooth. So usually his blades have um, signs of the file still on it. Mine doesn't. It's all super smooth and shiny. With this blade, it's got this nice sort of satin brushed thing. Signature there. And it's a super chunky blade. Can you see? Look at that profile. Really chunky, solid piece of metal. And incredibly sharp and it's just a really good good uh, size as well I can fit all four fingers on there got my thumb on the tang that's a good solid blade I've added this leather lanyard doesn't come with that but what it does come with is a nice handmade leather sheath which is really cool it's got the Morris logo on the front United States Flag on the back, really nicely made. Now, uh, it normally they go the knife will go in that way, but I like to um, just customize everything that I get, as I think regular viewers will know. So I've uh, made a little hole in the base, and I have it going this way round with the tang in, and it just slots in. You can see into the hole there, and then you've got a nice smooth bit of knife uh, handle, ex uh, not knife, the handle exposed there so that fits smoothly in your pocket. That's a good little package. Snag the leather there a little bit. I'm going to get the ruler and measure it for you. I know that's why you're here. <laughs> okay, here we go. So uh, from tip to one end to the other is 11.2 centimetres in length. The whole thing closed. Uh, the whole thing open is 16 centimetres. The blade is 6.6 .6 centimetres. And the blade thickness, it's a right chunky beast, is four millimetres. The handle itself is, what's that, 11, 11 millimetres. 
I'm just going to just, just let you look at it. It's it's really, really beautiful. I haven't used this because I don't know why. I think it's just too nice. And I know people say, oh, a knife is made to be used. And I totally agree. But this one, I don't know. It's just so beautiful. Really nice, isn't it? Very easy to operate one-handed as well, which is useful. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So that's it folks, thanks very much for watching. There's other knife reviews on my channel, have a look around. Please subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff, you know what to do. Thanks very much, I'll see you soon.